Hi students, today we are going to assemble our junk journals. So we're going to sew our spines and get all our pages in there. And then next week we can add some neat embellishments with stamps and scrap paper. And then this will be a book that we can do our sketches in and maybe I put a drawing in there or images you find that you know you want to use in your art and practice our painting techniques and all kinds of things. So let's get started. You're going to need two pieces of cardboard, one for your front and back cover and a third piece that's a little bit thinner for the spine of your book. And to start, if yours are not all the same length, um, I'm just going to trim mine so that the spine of my book is the same as my front and back cover. All right. Then, all the pages that you assembled from the carpet last week, we need to fold in half and also put in order that you like. So we needed, if you remember, we had five plain white pieces of paper. You might not want all of your plain white pieces side by side. So sort of arrange them in an order that you like. pieces Calendar piece. There we go. I have all my pages and I like the order. Now I'm going to take my cover and put it on my pages and any excess that's sticking out the sides, let's go ahead and trim that off. All right, so now I have all my pages and they're the right size. Um, next, I'm going to take the piece I'm using for my, my spine and I want to, it's going to be one centimeter wide, our spine. So I'm putting my ruler on here on the centimeter side and just in the middle of the spine, I'm going to put a dot here at 20 and then one at 21. And I'm moving my ruler down and doing the same thing. And then I'm going to connect my dots to make a line. But when I do so, I'm going to push pretty hard with my pen because I'm also scoring this piece of cardboard so that it'll be easy to fold. Same thing. On this side, pushing pretty hard. And then, it's 
easier to fold where you drew the line if you push hard. And that'll be the spine of our sketchbooks. So for now, we can kind of lay it flat. Notice I have this scrap piece of cardboard underneath me because we're going to be pushing pins through all of our pages and our spine, and we don't want to accidentally put a hole on the table. So lay your pages so that they're sort of in the middle of that centimeter. And then you're going to use that scrap piece of white paper that I gave you. First, cut it so that it's the same length as your book. And then we're going to use it to make three holes that are equal distance apart. So fold it in half, put a little dot there where the crease is, then bring the bottom up to that dot, crease it, put another little dot there on the crease, and do the same thing, bring the top down to the center dot, crease it, and put a dot there. So now we're going to put push pins through those dots and through all the pages of your sketchbook and that spine. So it's a little hard to push through all those pages, but you can do it. it up make sure that oh here I missed the centimeter I measured I'm gonna try that one again go through my pages And go ahead and wiggle those push pins. This is going to be easier to sew if that hole's a little bit more prominent. Next, you're going to thread the eye of your needle. These are darning needles, so they're not very sharp, but they do have a nice big eye. Just let it hang there. Don't tie a knot on it. And we're going to start by pushing down through this center hole. And this part's tricky again. But you can do it. You're strong, healthy kids, I know. And pull the needle down through it all. And leave some of the yarn there because we're going to need that end to tie a knot. Then I'm going to go up through the other hole that I made, pushing through the spine first, and then all those pages, and pulling through. Then I'm going to come down through this last hole. And 
hold the needle through. And then the last stitch is going to be back up through the center hole where you already have some yarn. Alright, and this piece is probably uh, falling off and that's okay because we were just using it to space our um, holes correctly. So then, snip the yarn and tie your two ends together just like you're tying a shoelace. pages are sewn together and now all we have to do is glue our cover on which we're going to use good old-fashioned Elmer's for push it on there press hard and we will let these dry uh, between now and the next class. And then next week when you come back, your cover will be secure and we can work on adding some neat embellishments to our junk journals to make them really unique to each of us and just something really special that you like and you want to add to and create in. So the sketchbook itself will be a work of art and then we'll fill it up with all kinds of neat art exercises too. All right, there it is. Um, I'll let it dry now and I hope yours went well. Bye.